South Africans who are always refusing that Nigeria never helped South Africa. Even when we provide evidence, we provide evidence back from the ancient days. Evidence showing how Nigeria stood and supported South Africa with lots of money, millions of dollars. We show you newspapers and so many evidence. You guys still refuse and said Nigeria did not help South Africa, blah, blah, blah. I need those South Africans to come out now and argue with your own minister, uh, Gator McKenzie. I need South Africans to come and argue with your, their own minister right now. Because now it's not just Nigerians talking. But your own minister, Gayton McKenzie, the man to the talk. I've never seen a minister in my life that talks like this man. This man is a minister of sport, but he's everywhere. Issues of art and culture, he will get himself involved and has an opinion. Anything he has an opinion, the man to the talk. He's always talking. Why? Why is this man? Minister of sport, but he cannot do any sport. He's thick. The man, the man looks like a, a foodie. He's just, he's just a chop. Nothing looks like sports. He's only talking. The only sports he knows is talking. That is Gato McKenzie. So, guys, the guy came out to drop another big talk. Yes. The other talk he talked was, oh, we don't have a problem with Nigeria immigrants. I've talked. I told you guys about that one already. No need to go into those details. But right now, it's for us to look at the other details. The man came out shamed all fully face. The man so, so humbled. I don't know who is humbling him. He just came out and started saying, oh, we want to thank Nigerians, Zimbabweans. So Nigeria and Zimbabwe help you people and you know it. Geto Mackenzie, you know that Nigeria and Zimbabwe helped South Africa when they had nothing. Because I love the way you put it in your speech. You said it yourself that when South Africans had nowhere to run to, when South Africans had no home, as a matter of fact, the whites were dealing with them. Even inside South Africa, they chased all of them, they ran out. When they were running and had nowhere to go to, where did the South Africans go to? Who are the people that helped South Africans? Gato McKenzie, you get sense, but you behave like Mumu. Because he came out to acknowledge it that Nigerians, Zimbabweans were there to help him, help South Africans. As a matter of fact, those are the people that gave their all. You understand? The Botswana and all those countries around South Africa today, where you people are, I don't want to enter that. I will eventually go there. But first, I want you to make it clear to your citizens, Mackenzie, you have started, but that was not good enough. You need to make it very more clearer to all South Africans who are alive today. They have to know that the reason why they have freedom in South Africa today is because of what Nigeria did, what Zimbabwe did, what Africans did. Yes, he did not just mention African countries. And I totally agree with him. Russia also played an important role in the freedom that South Africa has today. So that is a thankful spirit. Where is this humility coming from, from Gato McKenzie? Something is definitely fishy. Nigeria probably has called this man. Nigeria embassy or Nigeria government, don't call him. They have told him that, my guy, if you don't get your narrative straight in this, your country, we will start dealing with you people here in South Africa. And you know you have investment here. And that's why you see out of a hot sudden, probably the South African government called the man and said, guy, better go and acknowledge that Nigeria helped us. Who. Better go and acknowledge that Zimbabwe helped us. Who. If not, all these our mouths we are doing in this country, they will also deal with us. And that's why you see they are suddenly adjusting. This adjustment was not there when they were dealing with Chidima Vanessa. When they are busy packing up Nigeria immigrants, Zimbabwean immigrants and deporting them. You don't think of that. You don't think that maybe those countries, let's assume that eh, Nigeria has problems. Let's assume that Nigeria is really, really not good, that Nigeria is facing challenges. And Nigerians decide to run away and try to find themselves in South Africa, find themselves anywhere in this world. And South Africa is one of those countries where Nigerians choose to go there. South Africans will still have no right to chase them out because when you South Africans had nowhere to go to and run to Nigeria and other African countries, nobody chased you out. So even if Nigeria immigrants are illegal in South Africa and they are running away from hunger or problems in Nigeria, they have the right to go there. Because when South Africa was running, Nigeria opened their doors. So I don't see why you should justify the way South Africans are treating Nigerian immigrants, Zimbabwean immigrants, and African immigrants. It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. This is your own minister, Mackenzie, coming out to testify and you know, there are still many South Africans till date who refuse and don't believe. So we are happy 
when your own minister is the one talking. When your own minister is coming out to acknowledge your government, your leaders, your top leaders, who are the ones preaching xenophobia against these people, when they come out to acknowledge that, yes, indeed, Nigeria helped South Africa is good. Because the knowledge goes down to the younger South Africans. And the problem now is South Africans are ungrateful. Yes, that is where the problem lies. South Africans are ungrateful to all the countries that help them, except Russia. Now they still need Russia. That's why they are holding on to Russia, because they know that if Russia lets go, America and Europe will finish them. So that's the only reason why they are still holding on to Russia. Now they think that Nigeria and Zimbabwe is not helping them in any way. But you are joking, because you still have lots and lots of your people in, in Nigeria and Zimbabwe. Lots of lots of your investors. Lots of lots of your money turning in those countries. So they are still of great help to you. And your freedom is not complete. You are not yet free, South Africa, because the owner of the land is still the white man. The richest people in the country is still the white people. The people that own the real estate, they own the, the business sectors, all of them, they are the white people. So your freedom is still incomplete. So you will still need Nigeria, Zimbabwe, and Africa in one way or the other in the nearest future. In case you don't know, you will need them. So the ungrateful attitude has to stop. I love the fact that Mackenzie has been humbled. I don't know where this humility came from. I will investigate this humility. I will definitely investigate it. So that we know, because this is the same man who was busy shouting, arrest all immigrants, let them go. South Africa belongs to South Africans. We don't want Nigerians. We don't want Zimbabwe. And I saw a open big mouth, they talk everywhere. So how come he's suddenly humble and now he's acknowledging that Nigerians and, South and Zimbabweans and Africans helped him? Also acknowledge that we don't have a problem with Nigerians, they can come. We just want the good ones. We just want the this, this, this. Guys, this man is up to something. And I'm happy for whatever is happening in the background. But this is a good video. And I think that this is a perfect evidence for South Africans who still don't believe that Nigerians and Zimbabweans helped them to have the freedom that they are currently having today. Thank you, Mackenzie. Even though I don't like you, it is what it is. Your boy, Ajay Max, you on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys. God bless you all. Cheers.